In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, This is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice. Then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you, so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pity heed. They walked in the darkness of their evil hearts, and turned their backs, not their faces, to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly, all my servants, the prophets. Yet they have not obeyed me, nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer you. So say to them, This is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord. It's God or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come to sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people his shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. All that today you would hear his voice, harden not your heart, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tasted me, though they have seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Please stand. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your heart, for I am gracious and merciful. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was driving out the demon that was mute, and when the demon had gone out, the mute began, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others to test him asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, 
every kingdom is divided against itself will be laid waste and house will fall against house and if Satan is divided against himself how will his kingdom stand for you say that it is by Belzebul that I drive out demons if I then drive out demons by Belzebul by whom do you own do your own people drive out drive them out therefore they will be your judges but if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons then the kingdom of God has come upon you when a strong man fully armed guard guards his palace his possession are safe but when one is stronger than he attacks and overcomes him he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributed and distributes the spoils whoever is not with me is against me and whoever does not gather with me scatters my dear brothers and sisters the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ please be seated magandang umaga magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa minor basilica ng our lady of the rosary of manawa busy ba kayo busy well uh, okay lang father not that busy o masyado kayong busy Ito ay isang kwento na ang mga demonyo daw, nag-meeting sila. Mga demonyo, nag-meeting sila. Kung ngayon ang simbahan ay may sinod, nag-meeting yung mga kaparian, mga obispo, mga laiko. Yung mga demonyo din, na may meeting din sila. O nag-meeting sila, sabi nila, paano kaya natin masisira yung simbahan? Paano kaya natin masisira yung pamilya? Paano kaya natin masisira ang community? Usap sila, sabi nila, kung ano mga suggestions, ang daming suggestions. Bigyan natin ng ganito, bigyan natin ng ganyan. dami. Hanggang mayroong isang demonyo nagsalita, sabi niya, madali lang yan. Make them busy. Paano yon? Gawin mo silang busy sa lahat ng maraming bagay, sa mga makamundong bagay. And they will eventually forget the relationships, and they eventually forget God. Because the busy pala ang ibig sabihin being under Satan's yoke. Yoke means kati yung nilalagay don sa leeg ng kalabaw kapag kayo po y farmer. Yung palang ibig sabihin ng busy para sa mga demonyo kapag ka masadu kang busy. You might forget your relationship. You might forget who you are. And sometimes you might forget to pray and eventually you forget God. May kilala ako dati na masyadong nabisa sa business niya. Business niya po ay fishing. Masyado siyang busy na kahit linggo, kahit linggo, wala na siyang panahon kay Lord at nawala na rin siya ng panahon sa kanyang pamilya. Bising busy siya sa paghahanap ng pera. Nakalimutan niya na mas mahalaga pa pala sa pera ang relationship mo sa pamilya mo at sa Diyos. Masyado siyang busy being under Satan's yoke. Kaya nga kung minsan titingnan natin sa ibang hilyo ng binasa natin, mayroon pong palatandaan na tayo po ay nagiging under Satan's yoke. Bisi ka na. Una, kapag ikaw po ay matigas na ang ulo, tigas na ulo mo. Hindi ka na nakikinig or hindi ka na nakakarinig ng ibang boses kundi boses mo na lang. You don't see goodness on other people. Nagiging obstinate ka na. Matigas na ang iyong puso. You don't see graces in other people. Sapagat ang feeling mo, ikaw lang ang magaling. Busy ka na sa sarili mo. Delikado yan. Kaya nga may tanong nga eh, 
Father, kung si Lord ay sadyang maawain, mapagmahal, mapagpatawad, bakit hindi niya, mapagpa, hindi niya mapatawad ang Diyos, ang si Satanas? Sabi, bakit hindi daw pwedeng makapasok si Satanas sa langit? Simple lang po ang sagot. Ang tigas ng ulo niya, ayaw niya. Sa Ebanghelong binasa natin, mapapansin ninyo na kahit anong gawin ng Diyos, people could find many reasons not to believe Him. Ito nga yung incident na dumb if you do, dumb if you don't. May gagawin siyang tama, mali. May gagawin siyang mali, mali pa rin lahat. Kita mo, pinagaling na niya ang taong na possess. Anong sabi ng mga pariseyo, makalaban niya? Ginamit niya ang kapangyarihan ni Belzebul, the prince of demons. Kita mo na yan? Ang titigas ng ulo, ang titigas ng puso, hindi nila nakita ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Hindi nila nakita yung kabutihan na nangyari doon sa pinagaling ng Diyos. Yan yun, isa sa mga manifestation kapag ka ikaw po'y busy being under Satan's yoke. Matigas ang iyong ulo, matigas ang iyong puso, di ka na nakakikita ng goodness sa ibang tao. Kasi feeling mo, ikaw lang ang magaling. Ang pangalawang batayan na ikaw po ay busy, you want chaos. Gusto mo yung nagkakagulo. Ayaw mo ng unity. Pansin yan sa pamilya ninyo. Gusto mong maging impyerno ang pamilya ninyo. Simple lang. Madalas nga ating sinasabi yan eh. Ayaw ko na sa bahay na ito. Impyerno. Kapag ang ginagawa mo na lang inangaaway ka, kung ang ginagawa na lang, mo na lang, ay eh, ka para mag-away sa mga kapitbahay mo, mag-away sa pamilya mo, then you are busy. Gawin ang ginagawa eh. Kaya sa Ibanghilo sinabi ni Kristo eh. Walang kapag ka ang isang kaharian ay magulo, walang unity, it is bound to fail. Kaya sa pamilya niyo, tingnan niyo pamilya ninyo, may unity ba? Nakikinig ba ang bawat isa? Baka naman nagsisiraan lang. Kaya ngayon, tuwang-tuwa si, si Satanas ngayon eh. Pansin niyo ba? Tuwang-tuwa siya ngayon. Election time. Nagsisiraan ang bawat isa. Kita niyo na, di ba? Election time, sisiraan yan. Ah. Tuwang-tuwa si Satanas ngayon. Bakit? Nagsisiraan ang isa't isa. Hindi marunong makinig. Walang integrity. Walang pagkakaisa. Kaya kung titignan natin sa sarili natin, kapag ikaw po ay, sabi natin, may unity yung isip mo, yung puso mo, yung ginagawa mo, yung lifestyle mo, kapag ka may unity yan, may integrity, kahit anong paninira ang gawin sa iyo, You can stand and say, mas kilala ko ang sarili ko. Kahit sa pamilya ninyo, kahit sirain ang pamilya ninyo, ang community ninyo, lalo sa pamilya, may mga chismis, kapag kilala ninyo ang isa't isa, marunong kayo makinig sa isa't isa, you will just simply laugh at it at sasabihin mo, mm -hmm, mas kilala ko ang asawa ko, mas kilala ko ang anak ko. May integrity, may unity. Ikaw pagka ikaw po ay naninira na lamang, ayan, you want chaos. Gusto mo nang nagkakagulo-gulo, ayan. You are under Satan's yoke. Ano po ang gamot dito? Una, pangontra sa pagiging busy. Remember who you are. Tandaan natin kung sino tayo. We are in the image and the likeness of God. Lahat tayo dito ipinanganak na mabuti. Tandaan natin yan. Wala ditong ipinanganak na masama na agad. 
Kaya nga di ba yung mga magulang natin nung tayo nilabas, tuwang-tuwa sapagat they see goodness. They saw a blessing when we were born. Anong nangyari along the way? Kaya balikan natin yun. We are in the image and likeness of God. We are good. Remember to remember who we are. Isa yan sa ating pangontra sa pagiging busy. Di ba? Wala naman dito ang pinanganak na bata pa lang sinungaling na. Bata pa lang naganakaw na. Bata pa lang suwail na. Wala. Di ba? Pag nakita mo yung bata, you see God's blessing, you see God's goodness in them. Kaya tandaan natin, remember to remember who we are. We are good and we are in the image and likeness of God. Yung pangalawa po eh, open to the blessings of God. Ibig sabihin nito na sa Ebanghelong binasa natin, sinasabi nito, if it is by the finger of God, Ibig sabihin, the finger, if it is the will of God, if it is the word of God, that will be our guide in life, hindi po tayo mawawala. Hindi po tayo madadala ni taning. Being open means na nakikita mo na ang bawat isa dito sa atin ay grasya ng Diyos. Ang anak mo, ang lola mo, ang asawa mo, ang magulang mo ay grasya ng Diyos na binigay sa iyo. Ibig sabihin, if you want unity, we have to recognize that we need each other. Kailangan natin ang isa't isa. Hindi natin kailangan mag-away. Di ba sa pamilya? You need each other. Pag nag-away kayo, ano ibig sabihin yan? You cut off the relationship at feeling mo. Ah, ito na naman tayo sa unang sinabi ko. Feeling mo ikaw lang ang magaling. Delikado yan. Baka ikaw ay naging busy na. Kaya tandaan natin maging bukas sa grasya ng Diyos. Maging bukas sa isang idea that we need God and we need each other. Yan po yung unity, yung maramdaman mo na kailangan natin ang isa't isa at kailangan natin ang Diyos. Kaya kapag meron tayong dalawang ito, sigurado ako, hindi tayo madadala initaning. Ang tanong, busy ba kayo? Ibig sabihin, being under Satan's yoke. Sana hindi kayo busy sana may panahon kayo kay Lord at may panahon tayo sa isa't isa. Let us all stand. Gathered together in Christ who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. And the church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life, and so help restore a fallen world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak out boldly in the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those caring for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be received into the fullness of God's kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions and we also pray for the safety of all those who are traveling today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Almighty Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son who conquered sin and death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hearts, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work in human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Cleanse your people, Lord, we pray, from every taint of wickedness, that their gifts may be pleasing to you, and do not let them cling to false joys, for you promise them the rewards of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your will that our self deny should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and to help us imitate you in your kindness. And so, we glorify you with countless angels, and with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. By sending down the Spirit upon them, let the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, so as our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord, who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. The genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick, and afterwards the prayer for the blessing of of rosaries and other religious articles and images. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless their holy name. We ask this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us pray the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles and images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.